Hey guys, this is Christopher and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. Um, today I'm gonna show you uh, a bit more about the outside tiles. So let's make a map chapter 9. Okay. And this will be especially about water and forest tiles. So I'm trying to make um, sometimes chapters about uh, code, sometimes chapters about um, using the, the different entities, and sometimes chapters about using the editor or using the a link to the past graphics because they are sometimes um, tricky, especially the the outside ones. So I'm gonna show you um, the the water tiles, especially the ones that connect with uh, the cliffs, and uh, we uh, I will also show you the forest tiles. These guys here. Okay, so um, let's make a map twice the initial size. Save destination. Okay, so um, at this point, if you watched the previous tutorials, um, you are probably familiar with the basic uh, cliffs. The ones, um, there are cliffs that go on um, grass floor. Other cliffs, the same cliffs actually, but that go on um, sand floor. And cliffs that go on dirt floors. There, there is a fourth category of cliffs. They are not in the outside store yet, but um, it it would be interesting to add them. They are the cliffs that connect to water. So let's try that. This is the main deep water tile. So um, we can make uh, a lake like this for example. And if you pick the regular cliff tiles. Maybe we can show the grid. Regular cliff tiles. Copy, paste, resize with the R key. Like this. So this chapter will be very specific to a link to the past graphics. So if you're not interested, maybe you can skip it. I'm trying to keep each chapter independent of the other ones anyway. But um, even if you are not planning to make a Zelda game, it's always interesting to see how we can use the editor. For example, um, to resize you can press the, the R key and you can resize multiple tiles at once. I'm using Solaris Editor 1.3 but um, with 1.4 there will be a brand new editor um, it's being rewritten from scratch actually <laughs> it will be much better and for example the, the um, keyboard shortcuts will be better better indicated um, no, nothing tells you that um, resize for resize there is a, a shortcut with R so it's a problem that is fixed in 1.4. Of course, th there will be a lot of improvements in the new editor. This is just a very small detail. <laughs> okay, so here is... No. No, no, no. It's like this. This one first. So this one is actually the water equivalent to this one. Okay? So instead of this one, we use this one. 
and then the the waves waves okay maybe we can go diagonal then with um something like this okay copy paste when you paste the tiles go under your mouse and then you can put them by just uh, clicking with your mouse but if you make a right click actually you have another one that you can that you can also put so you can make several right clicks several successive right clicks to gain some time okay so and then just like we did for the north cliff we just replace the tiles that normally connect connect the cliffs with with dirt floor we replace these ones by the water equivalent ones so the water equivalent of this is this and the water equivalent of this is um, this. Well, this one is animated. There, is, there are three frames. Okay. And also this. And finally this one. Okay. So I don't have a lot of time in this video but I would highly recommend to add another um, set of cliffs like this one but for water water tiles okay save maybe we can no already tested but first I need as always to update my game manager script to set the correct initial map okay chapter 9 here we are so the the animation of the water tiles is defined by the tile set um the tile set knows that this is only one tile but it has three frames. If you edit the tile set, you can you can specify this in the animation field of any tile. You can make it unanimated, so this is just only one tile, stat only one static tile um, that uh, whose size is um, uh, forty-eight by sixteen. Of course, it's not. This is not what you want. So you would m make uh, an animation of three frames in the order one, two, three, one. You can also do one, two, three, two, one. Uh, I think it's this one. If there is this in a Link to the Past, of but you can change it if you want. Okay, so. Then what? Yes, we can also add these little waves, decorations. Okay. And the stones. Um, so that's pretty much it for the water tiles. You also have um, this kind of water it's some water um, shallow water actually you don't drown in this and I think we already used this tile in in chapter 2 or chapter 3 maybe the 
these ones are the connection between deep water and shallow water. This is um, to make a, a waterfall. Oh, this <laughs> I should probably remove this one from the Link to the Past resource pack because it's a reverse waterfall. <laughs> it's a special puzzle uh, in my game Zelda Mystery of Solaris DX, but you probably don't need it. Okay, um, so usually when you have this kind of um, border, you would make a jumper. So um, to the south, okay. Oops, no, <laughs> and. What is the uh, distance of the jump? Okay, 32, 48, I think it's 56. And another one here, to the right. And this one uh, already has the correct distance, 40. Of course, we need to check because it's easy to get it wrong. No, it's okay. It's okay, um, but we cannot swim. We will learn how to swim in the next chapter, actually. Okay. Um, so you can also make a diagonal jump right here, but um, we saw in, in the chapter that was about jumpers that Diagonal jumps are a little tricky because um, it's complicated to avoid the hero to end up in a cliff. So you would have to make the jump very long to be okay, and it will it will look a bit weird. So mm, in this kind of situation, what I prefer to do is. Actually, put some walls instead of these traversable borders. Walls like this. Okay. Um, Maybe one more. <coughs> and to make the transition, I will show you. Actually, this one can stay here. So to finish the, the shadow here, we use another diagonal wall but we put it in the back. Remember that you can press B to bring for bring to back and T from uh, for bringing to front. Um, okay, so and then the transition is exactly this one. Yes. So actually it's like this. So again the Cliff tiles of A Link to the Past are very tricky. It's, they are much more difficult to use than um, the, the dungeon ones. The, the inside, the ones of the houses, caves, dungeons, etc. Okay? And to finish this shadow, again, we use the diagonal wall, <coughs> but we put it in the back. So I'm pressing B, like this. So this is like I do. I use an entire diagonal wall just to use to obtain the shadow. But maybe you can organize the tile set differently if you want. I don't think this one 
is the correct one. No, this one is for um, this kind of wall, this kind of shadow here. Okay, and same thing here. I can put this back. Jumper. And finally, this one and this one. So, th um, th the four, let's zoom a bit more. These four ones are for uh, horizontal cliffs and these four ones are for vertical cliffs like this it's okay and there is no tricky shadow stuff for this one so it's slightly easier <laughs> okay So I, I think that's it for this little lake and I also wanted to show you the forests because so far we used we only used um, or maybe not maybe we already did uh, I don't remember I'm not sure maybe we I already did used um, a few of these tiles in a previous chapter but um, I want to show you more today. So um, this is a standard tree. But when you make a real forest, it looks much better to use um, these ones. And you can still make trees on, on them. Okay, so maybe like this. and like this so <laughs> this is the beginning of a forest it doesn't look very good for now So here you are you are have the horizontal tiles to make the connection between normal grass floor and the forest and vertical ones and diagonal ones are here and and also here actually you need both maybe we can do something like this okay And then you can add some small trees like this. You can add these flowers. And you can also add big trees. So how do you do that? It's like a normal tree, except that you change the the roots for for these styles. Maybe we should add this to our store store map. You can also change the, the color of your tree, of course. Why wouldn't we make some yellow trees sometimes? Okay, that's nice. And um, so you can also use this to make some cover some caves into the forests, or just to um, traverse from an area to another. OK. 
OK. So if you do this, with this one to close the, the tile, it is to make the entrance of a cave inside the forest, usually. Okay, um, we can try that. It's not working because um, if we hide the intermediate layer or if you just show only the intermediate and high layer, um, you see that you have tiles that are displayed above the hero. So what is in the same level of the hero, it, it is uh, the low layer and in the low layer we still have this and this. So these tiles are walls for the hero. Okay, so to make them traversable, you just have to um, put some traversable tiles on them, like this maybe. But if you do that, um, e this part is visible because there is no intermediate tile to cover this area. This, that's not a problem. We can make make some. We can take this ag again and intermediate layer. And it's better to make it um, slightly bigger than than the traversable part because. Um, link is uh, isn't always doesn't always exactly fit in the 16 by 16 square for example the shield or the sword can um, can exceed this square so like this it should work okay good very nice I don't like those trees. Oops. I prefer these ones. Okay. Oh, you also have this. Forgot and and this some more decorations, some more details. Okay, this would be a very nice cave. So I think that's it for this chapter. Um, if you have any question don't hesitate to ask. Also you can ask some questions about the rest of the outside tiles. Uh, there are a lot of tiles in this tile set. You have mm, a lot of houses, um, the, castle, the castle is here, a lot of dungeon entrance from A Link to the Past. Um, okay, so I hope you learned something. <laughs> And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.